Hello, this is a video response I just watched uh, where Temple Grandin was giving an interview. She talks about Mark Zuckerberg and autism in general. And what I found interesting, you know, she thinks Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook, um, is somewhere on the autism spectrum. And, you know, she said she read both the book and saw the social network. And she said, well, based off the, those two things, you know, that, that he definitely displays the characteristics. And, you know, I definitely think it's a possibility. You know, he's, he's very intelligent and everything like that. I think his social skills, at least his persona, is better nowadays. Um, you know, the last, you know, he, he's been changing and getting better at that. But, you know, people with autism can still learn social skills, which is actually something that also Temple Grandin talks about. Um, you know, that for someone with autism, you have to be taught the social skills. You know, you have to, you have to learn it. You don't get it right away and um, yeah I, I definitely well I mean yeah it's obvious you have to agree with that because um, we're, we're not going to pick it up just by because everyone else around us does these things you know we don't see what everybody else around us is doing you know we might see the couch and we might see sitting on the couch and you know but or whatever we, we might only see certain aspects you know the community the way that we perceive the communication is probably very different than you you know we're not making eye contact. No, there's different things going on in our mind. So yes, we do have to be taught the social rules. And she said that she thinks it was better in the 50s because it's the social rules were, were pounded more into the kids than they are today. I don't know if she's right or wrong, you know, because you know it's a different rule today. Um, but you know, her opinion is her opinion. But but of course, she does make a very good point about television. Now, a lot of TV shows, you know, say that, you know, we have to kick off the week. Um, and how, you know, she says that she despises, abhors those shows pretty much. And, you know, her values were that you got to help the week. And, yeah, it's definitely not some good values. On, a lot of television has a lot of poor values, to say the least. And those values have become even more poor as, the, as time has gone on. I'm not a big fan of television. I don't actually watch television, even though I do like my movies and stuff. But, but um, yeah, there is a lot of a lot of negativity on the television show, and people of autism can pick up on that negativity. And um, you know, some of them even do. Some of them, you know, will start acting like the, the mean characters on a television show because they they see that that's the popular guy. And then they they become mean in real life, and next thing you know, the the, the teachers con the mom, and and they, you know, people of autism can definitely copy behaviors off of television, and that can be a very bad thing. And uh, there was even a time in my life where I, I copied behaviors off television um, that were bad, sometimes good, but usually bad, and that and that had its ramifications, to say the least. She also. Towards the end of the interview, she talks about the squeeze shoot and how, how you know the pressure on the cows was very soothing and calming. And how she invented her own squeeze shoot and how pressure can be very calming to people with autism. And you know that's definitely true. You know, if, um, you know I'm kind of, I, you know, like light touches, like like a dental touch to my shoulder, like it kind of makes me squirm. But like a really deep um, hug, like like a really like like if somebody really squeezes me well they're not breaking my bones but they give me you know like a good squeeze their hug or something then that is very calming and soothing so so but I've never done a squeeze shoot before but, but I'm sure though that if I did have one that its effects on me would be very good because I there's a lot actually in certain parts of my body you know like I, I will actually sometimes like kind of squeeze it at times and it's calming to me so and, and I do like, you know, if somebody does give me like a very deep hug, but I do not like a gentle hug. I do not like the gentle touch. That kind of makes me squirm a little bit sometimes. It, it it's it's kind of weird. So, but the heavy touch, it's like you know, like like somebody gives me a gentle touch, and I can feel their fingers and stuff. But like a hard hug, I don't feel the hug. It feels different. So anyway. Um, that, that's my reaction thoughts to this Temple Grand interview. Even though I've watched a lot of Temple Grand interviews, this is the first one that I've actually felt the real desire to make a response to. Maybe because she's talking about Mark Zuckerberg and uh, and we all know that his movie, The Social Network, 
you know, won the Golden Globes, and we all know it's going to win uh, Best Picture at the Academy Awards. That's what's going to happen. So anyway, I thank you for watching this video, and I wish everybody an awesome day of awesomeness. Thank you.